solve one problem on heat transfer from the fin system that is heat transfer from fin as well as heat transfer from base surface we will read the given question 1 meter long and 5 cm diameter cylinder placed in an atmosphere at 40 degrees celsius is provided with 12 longitudinal straight fins k is equal to 75 watt per meter kelvin of 0.75 mm thickness the fins protrude 2.5 cm from cylinder The heat transfer coefficient from cylinder and fins to the ambient air is 23.5 watt per meter square kelvin. Assuming heat loss from the tip to be negligible, calculate the heat transfer through the system. The surface of cylinder is at 150 degree Celsius. If we observe the given question heat is transferred from the base of the cylinder as well as from the fins that means this is the case of heat transfer from the fin system let us understand the given data with the help of diagram so here the diameter of cylinder is given in centimeter so we have to convert it into meter so d is equal to 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter then the length of the cylinder is also mentioned that is 1 meter now surface temperature of this cylinder 150 degree celsius and the ambient temperature 40 degree celsius that is also mentioned now heat is transferred from the base of the cylinder as well as from the fins through the convective heat transfer and the convective heat transfer coefficient h is equal to 23.5 watt per meter square kelvin Now if we observe the dimensions provided for the fins we will show here in the second diagram so here uh, width is not mentioned for the fins but we can if we observe the diagram then the length of the cylinder that is nothing but the width of the fins so these are the dimensions of the fins so this fins protrude from the base with length is equal to so what is the length 2.5 into 10 raised to minus 2 meter so length is given in centimeter but we have to convert it into meter and the thickness of this fins is also mentioned so thickness is 0.75 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter so if we observe this diagram here this is the thickness t and here is the length that is length we have to take as it protrudes from the cylinder base so this is nothing but the length l and here this total width is also there and that is equal to length of the cylinder now we will calculate the different parameters with the help of these diagrams so what is the first parameter that we have to calculate we will calculate the area of the cylinder so what is the total area of the cylinder that is a cylinder we will take pi d l so this pi d multiplied by this length l that is pi into diameter 5 into 10 raised to minus 2 into 1 that is 0.1571 meter square so this is the total surface area that we have to calculate for the cylinder then we will move for the calculation of the fins so for the fins this is the data that we have to take width is equal to 1 meter length 2.5 to 10 raised to minus 2 meter and thickness 0.75 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter now we will calculate the cross sectional area of the fin so here we i will highlight this cross sectional area of the fin so cross sectional area that means we have to consider here this thickness and this width so i will highlight this is the area so we have to calculate this so cross sectional area notation is a to the base cs which is equal to now this is of rectangle shape so here is width and here is thickness so w multiplied by t so if we calculate this we will get 0.75 to 10 raised to minus 3 meter square then bare area of the surface so how to calculate the bare area of the surface so here these fins are attached to the 
base of the cylinder and it is having some particular width and thickness so if i draw here for one pin this is the this area that is nothing but attachment of the fin to the surface of the cylinder so bare area that means this is the total area of the cylinder minus we have to add the cross sectional area for all the fins now here number of fins are given that is 12 that is mentioned in the question so for all 12 fins we have to subtract this cross sectional area so how to calculate this so cross sectional area of one fin is getting calculated so we have to multiply with 12 and what is the total area of the cylinder that is also getting calculated so a cylinder minus area of cross section of fin multiplied by 12 so answer is 0 0.1481 meter square so this is the bare area that is notation is ab now we will calculate the surface area of the fin now what is the surface area of the fin so if we observe here this is the fin and it is having this surface which is this length multiplied by width now for one fin there are two surfaces that is on both sides there are surface which is responsible for the heat transfer so we have to take for one fin what is the surface area for one fin 2 multiplied by width multiplied by length so length is 2.5 to 10 raised to minus 2 and width is 1 multiplied by 2 which is equal to 0 0.05 meter square to find out the effective area of heat transfer we have to first calculate what is the efficiency of fin and for that we will first find out the value of m so m is equal to under root of hp by ka so h is the convective heat transfer coefficient that is mentioned now what is p so this p that is the perimeter is related to fin so perimeter we have to find out for the cross sectional area of the fin. So here I have highlighted this area with the help of red marker. So what is the perimeter of this highlighted area? So perimeter that means addition of all the sides. So we have to take this width plus thickness plus width plus thickness. That is 1 meter plus 0 0.00075 plus 1 plus 0 0.00075. So perimeter is equal to 2.0015 meter. Now next is conductivity K. So conductivity K for this material, fin material that is mentioned in the question. So we have to use that. And area. So here area that means we have to take the cross sectional area of the fin. So this area that means I have highlighted here with the help of red marker we have to calculate that area. So if we observe this is the combination of width and thickness. So what is the area of this section that is width multiplied by thickness. So we will take here so answer is 0 0.00075 meter square. So what is the value of m so if we put all the values then we will get 28.60. Now it is given that we have to neglect the heat transfer from the tip of the fin or if we consider this fin then if we neglect the heat transfer from the fin as per the condition mentioned in the question then this is the type for fin is insulated at the end. So what is the formula to calculate the efficiency when fin is insulated at its end? It is formula tan H ML by ML. So tan is that is the hyperbolic function of tan. Value of M that we have to take 28.60. And what is the length of fin? So length of fin that is the fin is protrudes from the base of the cylinder. That is nothing but the length. And that length is equal to 2.5 to 10 raised to minus 2 meters. So we have to put that value. So if we put the value then we will get the answer 0 0.858. Now we will calculate net effective area of the system. So how we can understand the effective area of the system for heat transfer. So here this is the total surface of the cylinder and over that fins are attached. 
so we have to first find out what is the bare area that is the total surface area of the cylinder minus total area of the fins that is which is attached to the surface of the cylinder so if we calculate this bare area then we have to take the surface area of the fin so for this surface area which is responsible for the transfer of heat how to calculate so total surface area that means we have to take the surface area for one fin multiplied by the total number of fins multiplied by the efficiency of the fin because for that fin heat transfer efficiency is also important that we have to multiply so here is the effective area is equal to bare area plus efficiency of fin multiplied by number of fin multiplied by the surface area of the fin so when we put the values that we have calculated earlier then we will get the answer 0.661 meter square so what is the heat transfer through the system so heat transfer through the system q is equal to now here the heat is transferred by the convection process from the surface of the cylinder as well as from the fin of the um, that is fin attached to the cylinder so we have to take here h multiplied by effective area multiplied by the temperature difference so temperature difference is 150 and 40 so we have to take this so answer is 1710.41 bar